Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to day 16 of my 40 for 40 challenge. Uh, happy Thursday to you all. And today we are doing a round on classic cars. So this is for Laura and Michael, who kindly donated £20. Um, so this round is for you guys and anyone else out there who enjoys classic cars. So here we go. Question number one. The Austin Healey 3000, 100 and 106 were collectively known as what? The Austin Healey 3000, 100 and 106 were collectively known as what? Remember to pause me between rounds. Questions. Remember to pause me between questions, not between rounds. I'm only doing one round. Tired. Just tired. Number two, which individual originally designed the Volkswagen Beetle? Which individual originally designed the Volkswagen Beetle? Number three, what record did the Triumph TR6 hold that was subsequently overturned by the TR7? Was it the best-selling TR model, the world's fastest convertible, or the darkest green paint available? So what record did the Triumph TR6 hold that was subsequently overturned by the TR7? Was it the best-selling TR model, the world's fastest convertible, or the darkest green paint available? question about my favourite type of uh, my favourite car manufacturer now when I win the lottery I'm buying a Vanquish number four where did Aston Martin get the inspiration for the name of the DB4 where did Aston Martin get the inspiration for the name of the DB4 Number five, what British car had a revolutionary but infamous square steering wheel? What British car had a revolutionary but infamous square steering wheel? Number six, the three series is BMW's best selling model. But in what year was it first produced? Was it 1972, 1975 or 1978? The 3 Series is the BMW's best-selling model. What year was it first produced? 1972, 75 or 78? Number 7. The M1, produced from 1978 to 1981, was a collaboration between BMW and which other manufacturer? So the M1, produced from 1978 to 1981, was a collaboration between BMW and which other manufacturer? Number eight, which British BMW Group car won the Italian award of World's Most Beautiful High Class Saloon in 1999? Which British BMW Group car won the Italian award of World's Most Beautiful High Class Saloon in 1999? A bit trickier that one, maybe. Number nine, the Rover Group was formed from four companies that were previously a part of British Leyland, including Rover, Mini, Austin and which other mark? So the Rover Group was formed from four companies that were previously part of British Leyland, including Rover, Mini, Austin and which other mark?
And number 10, what classic car did TV detective Inspector Morse drive around Oxford? What classic car did TV detective Inspector Morse drive around Oxford? Okay, so I'm going to give you some answers now. Here we go, number one, the Austin Healey 3100 and 106 were collectively known as what? The Big Healys. Number two, which individual originally designed the Volkswagen Beetle? Ferdinand Porsche. Three, what record did the Triumph TR6 hold that was subsequently overturned by the TR7? It was the best-selling TR model. Four, where did Aston Martin get the inspiration for the name of the DB4? By the owner of Aston Martin, whose initials were DB, David Brown. Number five, what British car had a revolutionary but infamous square steering wheel? The Austin Allegro. Number six, the 3 Series is BMW's best-selling model. What year was it first produced? It was in 1975. Number seven, the M1, produced from 1978 to 1981, was a collaboration between BMW and which other manufacturer? Lamborghini. Number eight, which British BMW Group car won the Italian Award of World's Most Beautiful High Class Saloon in 1999? Rover 75. I used to have one of them. It's one of my cars I drove when I was younger. Younger. Number nine, the Rover Group was formed from four companies that were previously a part of British Leyland, including Rover, Mini, Austin and which other mark? MG. And number ten, what classic car did TV detective Inspector Morse drive around Oxford? A Mark II Jaguar. All right, there you go then. Um, classic cars. I'll be honest, that's the hardest, uh, that's the most difficulty I've had writing around. I struggled on that one a little bit. Um, but... We got there. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're back again tomorrow with a, it's a niche round tomorrow as well. Um, it's a round on the TV show The Wire. That's where we are tomorrow. Um, and I'll be back doing that a similar sort of time tomorrow morning. All right, everyone. Take care. Thanks very much. And enjoy your Thursday. And for those of you going to the Lawford Arms later, I'll see you tonight. All right. Take care. Bye bye.